How long does it take to write a scale in Word? I say one second. And hello to the first video about my fonts for writing notes in programs like Word. This one is about the AK Notes and AK Chords fonts, which are intended for music teachers. The concept is quickly explained. With symbol fonts, you probably wonder how you can remember which key they are on. Here the solution is quite simple. The position of a note on the keyboard is not determined by its name, but by its step in C major. For example, the note G is the fifth note and therefore lies on the key with the number 5. The octave of C on the 8 and from there it continues to the right on the keyboard up to the high G. The range is completed by three notes from the small octave and of course again on 5, 6 and 7 but with the shift key pressed to put them an octave lower. The accidentals are in the two rows below, each directly under the corresponding note. You just have to remember that the flats are in the second row of the keyboard, the sharps are in the same row when you hold down the shift key and the naturals are in the third row of the keyboard. So it's very easy to find the right accidental. Let's say we turn the D into D sharp. The D is on number 2 and the corresponding sharp in the row directly below with the shift key pressed. And so on. When we want more space between notes, we can add this extra space with a built-in distance or spacing character. Now let's turn this F major scale into F minor natural. We need four flats to do so. This is quickly done by selecting one of the pre-configured treble clefs with accidentals placed on the left side of the fourth row. One, two, three, four flats, or with shift, one, two, three, four sharps. If we ever should need more, we can add them manually like this. So here we just need to press V to change the key signature. If we want to change to harmonic minor, we could add a natural here. And within the font we also have indicators for the size of a tone step. Another frequently needed task is an empty staff for writing notes in by hand. Just press B for the clef and then the distance character and it's easy to give more space to the student. That was AK Notes. Now to AK Chords. This font contains everything that AK Notes has, on the same keys, of course, but there is an important difference. When I type notes, they will continue to be stacked vertically aligned in order to enable the notation of intervals in chords. This is the big moment of the distance character I mentioned before. Let's write chord inversions. 1, 3, 5, then distance. 3, 5, 8, distance. And 5, 8, 0, distance character. The same and even more important in combination with accidentals. Let's write a four part cadence in E minor. We start with the clef and then the chord. One distance character to add a fourth part on the same note. Then several distance characters. Now A minor. distance characters and now the dominant but first we have to enter the sharps and the distance characters. Below the two the sharp with shift 
below the four, the sharp with shift, and finally, after the last distance character, the whole chord, and then again distance characters for the solution. That's AK Chords. And I hope that these fonts can help you a little bit. Before I finish, I want to give you a short overview about three more font packages. This is what is possible with the Rhythm package. It is for explaining note values and creative work with rhythmic patterns, also very intuitive to handle. This is AK Songwriter that makes it possible to write complete melodies with nearly everything you need within the tone range of one and a half octaves. The operation is further developed on the basis of the one in AK Notes. And last not least, AK Harmony that has almost the same handling as AK Chords, but on two systems. And that's it for the moment.